So because our focus is Germany, and Coach Daniel has gone through a number of their players, I am going to look at someone who I think is absolutely brilliant at passing the ball. He got on the ball a lot in their first game against France. And there's three things to be a really good passer of the ball that you need to be able to do. One is see the options. So if you want to be a really good passer or even just a good player, you can't have your head down all the time. You need to get your head up. All right, eyes up, seeing all the options. Two, playing the right pass at the right time. All right, so timing of the ball. And timing of the ball also means about how hard you hit the ball. Has anyone ever hit a ball too hard to you and you can't control it? Or they've hit it too soft and it's not even made it to you? And the third one is choosing the right technique to play that pass that you've seen. So seeing the options, right timing and weight of pass, and the right technique to do that pass. They're the three things that Tony Cruz is absolutely fantastic at. All right, so we're going to go into the first exercise. And as I said, you will need four cones. So to set up, you'll see behind Coach Daniel, he's got some cones set up. But I'm just going to show you as well. All right, so our first gate, and we're going to be using either a wall or a partner to pass the ball with. So I'm going to set up one gate here. And you can make the space as big as small as you want, whatever size you've got. And then I'm going to set up my other weight on the other side of my couch. There. All right, so you'll see that we have got our orange gate and we have got our yellow gate. Coach Daniel, can you show the players the gates that you've got, please? <clears throat> so you see that Coach Daniel has white gates in front of him. All right, and he is going to be passing the ball through them. There's the middle gate, there's the right gate. And I'm sure he's going to show us the left gate. There you go. Okay, so the first exercise is very, very easy. All right, all we're going to be doing is passing the ball against the wall or against the, the couches that I've got it here or with a partner. When the ball comes back to you, I want you to take one step or one touch to the side and then you play the pass through that gate. So Coach Daniel, can you show us that one, please? So the ball goes through the middle. When it comes back, he takes a touch to the side, plays the pass off the wall, and when it comes back to him, he just repeats the exercise going to the other side. So one pass forward, one touch to the side, one pass forward. That's it. All right, so I am going to give you guys one minute to count as many passes as you can get. All right, one minute, as many passes as you can get. We are starting in three, two, one, go. Touch, pass, that's it. Pass, touch to the other side, and then pass. How many gates can you pass through? 15 seconds gone. Sit light on your feet. 30 seconds gone. Halfway there. Don't worry if you hit the cones like Coach Daniel. We just keep working. Take that touch. 15 seconds left. How many can you get in the last 15? Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Okay, and hold it there. So we're going to have a look at a couple of tips that we, uh, uh, we spoke about before, about being able to see time and play the right pass. So what I would like you to do, when the ball hits the wall or your partner or the couch, all right, I'm going to control the ball as it comes back. When I take that touch, then I'm going to look up I'm going to look to the gate that I'm going to play the ball through and make play the pass, okay? So I want you to focus. We're going to do this for one more minute. After you take your touch, when the ball comes back off the wall, you take a touch towards the gate, and then I want you to get your eyes up and see the gate you're going to pass through, okay? One more minute, and I want you to try and beat the score that you just got. So keep that in your head. One minute to beat your last score. 
We are starting in three, two, one, go. Take the touch, eyes up, see the gate, and then back, that's it. Touch, eyes up, see the gate, well done. Good pass, good touch, good look, then good pass. 30 seconds gone. It's all right, we keep going. Pass, touch, look, pass. That's it, 15 seconds. Can you pick up the pace for the last 15 seconds to get as many passes as you can? Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Okay. Can you guys give me a thumbs up in the comments? Just a thumbs up in the comments if you managed to beat your first score the second time around. All right. Now, to progress this, we're going to make it a little bit more difficult. Now, you can listen into what I'm saying, or you can have a partner, someone at home with you, mum, dad, granny, aunt, your uncle, cousin, someone. But... We're going to number the gates, okay? So, for example, I would say the gate yellow here, that is one. We've actually got a gate in the middle, the one we've been passing through, that'll be gate number two, and the orange gate is gate number three. So we've got one, two, three. When Coach Daniel passes the ball off the wall, I am going to call out a number. He needs to take his touch towards it that number and play the pass through the correct gate. So we're going to do it 10 times, all right? I'm going to call out 10 numbers. You, you can try and do it with us if you want, or as I said, you can have someone at home call out 10 numbers for you. And it has to be random. So don't just go one, two, three, one, two, three. Make it one, make it three, make it two, make it three. Just mix it up. Okay, Coach Daniel, are we ready? Yeah. Okay, 10 passes. Let's see how many you can get it right. Okay. Starting in three, two, one, and play. One, two, one, three, two, three, one, one. Two, three, two, and time. Well done, Coach Daniel. I think you managed to get 10 out of 10 there. Well done. So that's something that you don't need to do with us. You can do that at home as well, as long as you've got someone or somewhere to pass the ball off of. And remember the three things that we spoke about. Can you see the options? So get your eyes or your head up. Can you play the pass at the right time and the right weight? And can you use the right technique? So that's what we're going to be looking at in the next one. We're going to be looking at some of the techniques to change direction, some of the things that we did before. So Coach Daniel, can you just demonstrate this as I walk through it, please? So Coach Daniel is going to play the ball off of the wall. He's going to take his touch in one direction and then use one of the skill moves that we've done before to change direction and play the pass through a different gate. Okay, so for example, play the ball through the middle, takes his touch towards gate three, but then he does a cutback like we did in the very first session and he goes to gate number one. Okay, so we'll walk through that one. Yep, goes down and go for it, please. Yep. Pass through, touch in one direction, cut back, change direction, and then pass to the other gate. He'll come back to the middle and then restart. Pass, touch in one direction, show me a skill to change direction, and then pass through a different gate. Okay? So right now, we're just going to do the cut back that Coach Daniel showed us. We're going to work on that for one minute. Okay? 
How many changes of directions and passes can you get in one minute? Are we ready? Starting in three, two, one, go. Pass, touch, change direction, and then pass. Come back to the start, pass, touch, change direction, and pass. All right, how fast can you go? but maintaining control and accuracy of pass. Pass, touch, change direction, pass. Well done, halfway there, 30 seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and time. Okay. All right, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to throw two more moves at you. So we're only going to work this thing for thirty seconds. So because we're reducing the time, I want you to work even harder, even faster. So this time, Coach Daniel, can you show us the same exercise, but using scissors to change direction? So we'll pass through the middle, take a touch, scissors, change direction, and pass. Yep. So doing that, get used to using both legs to do the scissor and change direction. Okay, so we're going to reduce the time. We're only going to work for 30 seconds on this one. All right, starting in three, two, one, and go. That's it. Come back to the start. Pass, touch, change direction, and then pass through the other gate. All right, get yourself into a rhythm with that. 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Okay. Coach Daniel, do you have a favorite move that we can ask the players to try for this one? A cut back from behind, perhaps? Cut back from behind. Okay, so can you demonstrate that for us, please? So same exercise, pass through the middle, touch towards one side, and then the move that Coach Daniel's gonna show us. Oh, so it's a Cruyff turn. Okay, excellent. So that's putting the ball between your legs using the inside of the foot. The part of the foot we normally pass the ball with is the part that we're going to push the ball behind our leg with. Okay, so we're gonna try that one for 30 seconds. Can you get into the habit of touch, Change, pass. Three, two, one, and go. Fifteen seconds gone. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Hold it there. Okay, now I'm gonna give you this next one and we can add in the last exercise with this exercise where when the ball comes off the wall, your partner can give you a number. So they could say one. That means that you need to take your touch away from one, change direction to go back through and then pass through number one gate. They could also do this with gates two and three. So you can do that one at home. You can mix and match. Try lots of different skills. All right. You don't need to do the ones that we've done today. All right. So I'll give you one minute to grab a quick drink and then we'll move on to the next exercise. So go and grab a drink. I'm going to have one too. Just like Ronaldo, no to Coca-Cola, drink some water.
So I mentioned it before, we have got the game tonight with Germany is, uh, I think it's midnight kickoff here in Malaysia. The first game is Hungary versus France. And the last game of the night is Spain versus Portugal. Coach Daniel, out of Hungary, France, Portugal, Germany and Spain, Poland, which game are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the Germany and the Portugal, actually. Both Absolutely. teams has a very good chance to, to make it to the final, I think. Yep. Well, I think after Portugal won their first game and Germany lost their first game, Germany really needs to step up and they must win. So I think that's going to be a great game. Okay, so for the next exercise, all we are going to do is remove one cone. So we're going from four cones to three cones. All right, I'm just going to put this one to the side. And I want you to try and set up just that. All right, move that back in. All right, so three cones. And this is going to be target practice. Okay, so we've moved on. And all I want you to do is pass the ball off the wall or your partner. And then when the ball comes back to you, take a touch and you need to hit the cone. So we're trying to become really accurate with our passes. It's no good being a really good passer of the ball if they end up going everywhere. So Coach Daniel, can you demo that for us, please? You are now trying to hit the cones after you take your first touch. Pass, touch, and then hit. All right, and that's it. So I'm going to give you guys one minute, and it doesn't matter if you can't do it all the time constantly. If you need to reset, that's fine. I'm going to give you one minute to get as many accurate passes, as many hits of the cones as you can. One minute, okay? Starting in three, two, one, and go. Pass, that comes back. Can we then be accurate? And if you need to take a touch, take a touch. There's no problem with that. Oh. All right, and you can make that area as big or as small as you have got available to you. Yep, that counts, Coach Daniel, that hit. 30 seconds. And again, guys, if you need to pass control and then try and hit the cone, that's okay. You can absolutely do that. 15 seconds left. How many can you get? Three, two, one, and time. Hold it there. Right, guys, I'm going to challenge you to something. Tony Cruz is not only a good passer because he can pass with his strong foot, he can also pass with his weaker foot. So this next one minute, your challenge is to only use your weaker foot. So the pass off the wall, the control, and then the pass to the cone, everything is done with your weaker side. Okay? Same exercise, different challenge. One minute on the clock. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Starting in three, two, one, go. There we go. Good one straight off the bat. I don't know if that is his weaker side. Yeah. Do we count that one? Coach Daniel took a touch with his right foot. Pass. And can he hit the corner? I'll take a touch. And see that? He used the outside of his foot for the pass, and that's okay. That's one of the third, that was the third thing that we brought up. Can you use the right technique to play the pass? So if the pass is with the inside, the outside, the top, the heel, the toe, that's okay. Experiment with different passing styles to get the right pass. 10 seconds left, coach. Three, 
two, one, time. And hold it there. Okay, now, another exercise that you can do is having your partner call out a number. So just like we had with the gates, you can number them one, two, and three. Your partner can then call out the cone that you need to try and hit. So Coach Daniel, we're just going to demonstrate this one. We won't do it for the minute, but can we try that, please? Yes. So Coach Daniel's going to call, uh, pass the ball against the wall, and I'm going to call out a number. He needs to react and try and hit that cone. Okay. Let's go. Three. Dead easy. All right. So that's it. And if you need to take that touch to control it, please do. Okay. We are going to finish off with some SAQ. And SAQ stands for Speed, Agility, and Quickness. Although the German players are very, very technically good, they are also very strong. Their conditioning is fantastic. So what I would like you to do is just grab two of the phones, right? And we are just going to put them in a straight line, right? That's it. And I'm going to stand on one foot and I'm going to hop backwards and forwards across that line, all right? So I'm going to give you 30 seconds. We'll do it on one foot and then we'll swap to your other foot. I want to see how many backwards and forwards you can get. So this one needs to be really, really quick feet. Okay, starting on one foot, 30 seconds, backwards and forwards, count how many you get. Starting in three, two, one, go. Challenge yourself to see how many you can get because we're gonna swap over and then you need to try and beat that with your other foot. Halfway there. Keep going, we've got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and time. Hold it there. Okay, Coach Daniel, did you manage to count how many you got there? I think we got 30. 30, okay, let's go. So we're gonna swap feet, and I want to see if you can beat that 30 on your other side, okay? Starting in three, two, one, and go. Can you go faster than Coach Daniel? Halfway there, 15 seconds. Can we push it for the last five seconds? Four, three, two, one, and time. Hold it there. Did you manage to get more or less? Or the same? The same. The same. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're going to change it slightly. Rather than going forwards and backwards, for the last two things that we're going to do, and again, it's only going to be 30 seconds worth each side. This thing we're going to use the same, but I'm just moving sideways okay we're just going sideways so again keeping count of one foot and then we'll do it on the other side 30 seconds how many jumps can you get three two one go can you go faster than coach daniel can you beat him and let us know in the comments if you get more than 30. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, time. Coach, how many did you get? I got one more, 31. 31, okay. Can you beat that on your other foot? Last exercise of the day, guys. Can we go as fast as we can on this one? Starting in three, two, one, and go. Halfway there, 15 seconds left to beat Coach Daniel. <laughs> Oh, 
Five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Coach Daniel, how many did we get? I got the same, 31. Same. Okay, well, that just means that you're well balanced on both sides. Okay, guys, that is us for today. It is full time for today's Euromania workshop. I hope you managed to get through all those exercises and please, please, please make sure to practice them in between these sessions. Um, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for me. Thank you from Decathlon. Thank you from Little League Soccer. Coach? Yes. Um, everyone, just keep training. Keep yourself indoor and be safe all the time. I'll see you guys later. All right. Take care, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, everyone.